One of the things I like to do is educate investors because I believe the more educated you are, the more confident you are, and the more confident you are, the more likely you are to be successful and less likely to be pulled astray. I was in a conference call yesterday, and I have to tell this story because it was so eye-opening. A friend of mine sets up an account with a major fund company with over a trillion dollars of assets under management. This is a huge fund company. And a lot of people often think big fund company must be really great, must be wonderful. Well, he sets this account up with $50,000 and tests them. He calls them up three days later and says, hey, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about the unemployment numbers and I'm thinking about pulling my money out of the stocks. I know I just bought three days ago. Uh, what do you think? And, and they said, well, you know, you can put your money in a money market account. And he goes, oh, okay, well, let's do that. Now, did they guide him? Did they say, hey, you know, you shouldn't be timing the market? No, they just let him self-destruct. They enabled him. Now, as he's telling this story, I'm in doing research on the fund company. Over a trillion dollars of assets under management, I wanted to see what their average investor was invested in and how much money they had invested in various areas of the stock market. Were they really well diversified all around the world? No. I looked at their stock funds in the US and I found with the money invested in these stock funds that 81% of it was sitting in large blend and large growth stocks, basically S&P 500 like companies. Now, why is that important? Well, that's the area of the market over the past three to five years that has been the top area of the market. That shows you they're just chasing returns. They're putting all their money in what just did well in the past. Trees don't grow to heaven, yet they were allowing their investors to put their money in whatever they wanted to put their money in rather than really setting them up in a well globally diversified portfolio. Now that's really important because historically large US growth stocks underperform value stocks in 20 year periods about 95% of the time. And also as we speak right now, value stocks, I looked at my value fund, large value fund, it's selling for about 43% less than the S&P 500 right now. Will that continue forever? Probably not likely. But the average investor with this fund company will never know it because they're not being coached.